What's it been like practicing at corner this week? Uh, you know, it's, it, feels, it feels different, but, uh, you know, I came in as a corner, so I really can't complain, but, uh, you know, I feel good. What's the main difference for you? Uh, just scheme-wise, you know, nickel, you have different assignments in the corner, so, uh, you know, really it's just getting my, my mindset back in the corner if, you know, Biggie doesn't go. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I'm going to hang up. Are you expecting to play corner? Uh, I mean, it, I don't know. Like, I don't know what Biggie's going to do, but um, I just know that I'll be ready for both nickel and corner. So um, whatever comes, you know, I'll be ready. What do you see specifically on tape from Cal? Uh, you know, they're a good team. You know, I know I have a lot of high school players that go to Cal, so it's, kind of, it's going to be fun to um, go against them. But, um, you know, they're a good team, a uh, good offense. You know, they have two different kind of quarterbacks. We have to, um, you know, play against one's a runner and one's more of a passer. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. How difficult is it preparing for two quarterbacks? Um, it's, it's kind of difficult because one is a really like a runner, like basically a running back playing quarterback. And the uh, other one's a thrower. But, um, you know, I think Coach Kansi has a good scheme for him, and uh, we should be good. Uh, it feels back in like my junior year when I was starting at nickel. You know, uh, it feels good to be back out there. Um, you know, getting a lot of reps and um, I'm starting to get comfortable game by game. How tough was the first part of the year when you went against opportunities? Uh, you know, it's, it's always tough when you're not playing, but um, you know, I just stay stay grinding. You know, focus on my assignments and um, you know, I, I know my time will come. Did you have any talks with the coaches about that? Um, you know, here and there, you know, they said it's gonna get me in, and um, you know, I'm just glad I'm in this position now. Did you feel like you needed to shake any rust off, or did you jump back in, kind of like you had this? Uh, you know, I just jumped back in because, you know, like I said, like during practice, I'll act like I'm in a game, you know, prepare like I'm a starter. And, um, you know, now, now the time has come, and I'm, I'm just comfortable now. Was there any lingering health issues coming up on last year? Uh, you know, my hip was hurting a little bit. You know, the, the doctor said it's normal, you know, for it to hurt within a year. But, um, you know, I'm fine now. My hip's feeling good, and I'm just ready to go. That first game you got back in there for a full lot more snaps. How uh, validating was that to come out and play the way you did? Yeah, um, you know, last yeah I played at ASU when I was starting, so yeah. I kind of knew you know what they were gonna do and what kind of routes they're gonna run. So um, you know the tape really helped me, you know, studying them, and uh, yeah, played out well. So this week, are you preparing for corner, nickel? Uh, yeah, yeah, both. You know, I don't know if Biggie's gonna go yet, or I don't know. I'm just ready for a corner and nickel. So I've been practicing out here, corner and nickel, how splitting the reps. So you know, whatever happens, you know, I'll be ready. Not to harp on, on I'm just curious. Like during the season, with the people you leaned on, or people you, you talk to, just kind of keep you up and keep you. Uh, it's it's kind of like a, a myself thing, you know. Um, you know, talking to my parents and. Uh, um, it's just for myself, you know, I kept telling myself, you know, my time's going to come or just keep practicing, keep practicing hard. But, um, you know, it's all about it's all about talking to yourself and being prepared. Was there an especially tough moment where you had to wonder, is it going to come? Uh, OK, so uh, I don't know. I just know that it, it was it was tough, you know, being on the sideline kind of from being a starter. But, um, you know, that's how things work out. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad to be in this moment right now. What's the feedback you got from the coaches after the last couple of years? Uh, the players have been playing good, you know, um, just study more film. Uh, you know, there's certain errors I made, but you know, I expect that, you know, not being on the field a lot. But, um, yeah, I'm good to go now. What's your comfort when you're right to the nickel? Where, where, where do you feel this? Um, you know, either one, corner or nickel, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just different schemes, different calls at a different position. So, um, you know, as time goes on, or I don't know what's going to happen this game, but I'm ready for both. In the big picture, how important is this ending to your career? Is it ending the way you are? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, my senior season, so you know, I'm happy to be out there for my last couple games. Um, just try to put as much film as I can, and um, hopefully things end out well. The trend in college football is, you know, when things aren't going well, you know, people look at you know, this grad transfer option, all these different things that guys can do when, you know, when things aren't going well, they want to change or yeah. whatever. You know, what made you stick it out here, even though things maybe weren't going exactly as you wanted? Um, you know, I'm a competitor, you know, um, in this SC, you know, I don't want to leave this place. Um, you know, people's in my ears, transfer, transfer here, transfer there, but I didn't want to do that. You know, I want to stay here and just grind it out, and um, so hopefully when my time comes, I'll be ready. When you look at the Pac-12 South still kind of out there for your last year, it's, yeah. it's you know, a few things have to happen. But. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty I mean, you know, whatever happens, you know, hopefully we get to play for a Pac-12 championship, but, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I'm just trying to focus on these last couple games and try to go undefeated in November.